Here's a picture of a repaired Windrider 17 rudder. It's got the washers on there and the bolts. It's held together, but it still was loose. So uh, I used this crack and uh, sealer. It's a foam sealer. Bought at Home Depot and sprayed it in there. And uh, so that pretty much stiffened it up even though it had the bolts on there. This one here is one that we put the new rudder on that we got from Wind Rider, which really wasn't all that nice. I think it could have been done better. This one here is one that we had that we repaired and right here next to the, the rudder shaft, the rudder post, we drilled a, a hole big enough for the, uh, this uh, great stuff gap and crack sealer. And it was big enough to put the straw down there, pushed it in as deep as I can, filled it up, and then put a bolt in the hole. So when it expanded, it uh, expanded the rudder out. So that's the what rudder that I made right there. And this is a rudder that... We went ahead and cut open, cut it in half so you can see what the inside of it is. So all you got is foam. And then what happens is this thing here just gets loose and just wobbles around in here. So if you drill your hole right here and then you fill the whole thing up with uh, this gap sealer, then you can go ahead and stiffen it back up. You won't really have to drill them, put those holes in there. But that's all it is. So that's why it, it fails because that's all that's as much as they got in there that's gonna um keep that thing from wobbling. If it was should have been longer deeper down and then had like more of a paddle shape, then that would have got it all out. But this is just foam on the inside of here. So this one here can be fixed, it just takes a little bit more now that it's cut in half. But I just wanted to see what it looked like inside. So yeah, they just uh, inserted the rudder post in there and sprayed it with foam. And that's about it.